All right, welcome back in. So today we're going to talk about trampolines. We got the trampoline medium jump, and we have the trampoline high jump. These are craftable at the carpenter. However, they're not on by default. You do actually have to find something, a lore page, do a quest. I don't know exactly what unlocks them. There is a bug. I have reported the bug. Uh, they disappear on logout. That's why they're not sitting down right now. They were down, uh, but they're not anymore because, yeah, reasons. So the other issue is, let's say I want to place it like this. It's not going to place it like this. I'm going to show you what happens. It does that. I don't know why. It just, yeah. It, okay. It's just going to default how it feels like, no matter what you do to place it. i got to make sure I get them about the same. That one's a little bit too far forward. I've got these set so that I know the distance. There we go. All right, so you have this medium jump here, and I have set these to give you an idea of where you need. So this goes the same with the, I don't know what they are, flower bouncy flowers. All you need to remember is commit. When you go to do the jump and you're facing the thing you're going to jump to, just commit to it. Don't hesitate. Don't do anything. Watch this. Just go boom, forward, done, and that's it. It just, that's how you've got to deal with uh, this and with the bounce flowers, whatever they're calling those things. You just commit right to it. And it's perfect. It works great. So I did do height testing. Those heights you see right there are the exact amount that you don't accidentally like trip your feet over the edge of it and the exact distance that if you jump right roughly center, you will land right on it. So for the high jump, that is going to be five stories plus one block. You could go down one block and just make it five stories. It'd be just fine. And then for the medium jump, it is three stories plus one block. Same thing. You could go down one block. It would still work just fine. However, if you go up one block, you're going to have problems with your feet foot tripping on it as you crest the top your your apogee when you land on it now from roughly the center it's not a perfect fix because i don't land perfectly in the center when i land, jump on it the medium jump is too long minus one to get to the center or to get to the front of that where you're going to place the thing it is you're jumping to so whatever level you're jumping to it's going to be two deep minus one. The lo the high jump is going to be three deep minus one. So I stand right there and I look straight up and I'm right on the center of that or the front of that. So that gives you your distance of how these, but boy, these things are awesome. So if I just kind of like wah, wah, I mean, it, it's, it's great. It's a way you can do a lot of really cool uh, traversal around the world with these things. They're fantastic. So, I will go show you real quick uh, the Carpenter. Like I said, you do have to unlock these. It is probably a lore page. There are lore pages all over. Um, yeah, I would say all over. There are a number of lore pages in the mire. And so if we go to the crap Carpenter here, it is a whole new category under Essentials. Uh, they are fairly expensive to build, considering they're disappearing every time you log out. i got to go over there after I stop the video and put them back in my bags, otherwise they're gone. So, not terrible, but making 15 linen and 10, 25 linen, and then every time you log out, they disappear is kind of sucky. I'm not going to lie. All right, thanks for watching, everyone.